Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. I uh, hope you guys have had a uh, a good week so far. I just got back from uh, work literally about a half hour ago. <laughs> and because right now it is, as I'm recording this, uh, the time I'm recording this right now is 2.30 a.m. On, uh, I guess it would be called Wednesday morning. So, but uh, I wanted to kind of go over couple little things about uh, playoffs, who's in, who's out, who might be in, who might be out. But before I do that, if you are new to the channel and you, uh, and you love hockey, you love hockey jerseys, just hockey in general, kind of like I do, uh, you know, if that's the kind of stuff you like, it'd be awesome if you would hit that, uh, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. And, uh, you know, if you want to be notified of uh, any future videos, you can uh, hit the little bell there. And uh, anytime something new is uploaded, you'd be notified of it. So, most of the games, we're down to one. We're down to one game. And the Western Conference, the teams in the West are all decided. Teams in the West are all decided. We don't know who's playing where yet. But that will be coming soon. So, in the Western Conference, we have Colorado, Dallas, and Minnesota. They are the top three teams in the Central Division. The Pacific Division, of course, is the Vegas Golden Knights, Edmonton Oilers, and Los Angeles Kings. And was and as was decided here just this uh, this past evening the Winnipeg Jets clinched the uh that second wild card so the two wild cards are the Seattle Kraken and the Winnipeg Jets now again we don't know who's playing who but uh the eight teams in the west are all set definitely disappointing for for Calgary for Nashville you know I mean they got down to they got get, they got down to this point of the year, and you know I mean they did decent, but uh, you know it just when it when it came, when it came down to it they just they couldn't they I think they fell behind too far I think they 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 fell too far behind they tried to claw, they you know trying to claw back trying to claw your way back into a playoff race is not easy and. I mean, Calgary is, I mean, disappointing for Calgary especially. Calgary was expected to be, you know, a potential contender this year. I mean, they, oh, they made it to the second round last year, the division, the division, uh, the division uh, finals. And they just, they, they went, they made some moves that, you know, we thought were going to help their team. Didn't really, unfortunately, it didn't really pan out that way. So... The Jets are the second wild card. Now, I think there is still some potential for some movement here. We don't know. Right now, Colorado is leading Dallas by one point, And they still have a game in hand on both uh, Dallas and Minnesota. I don't know who the hell drew that up in the schedule to make sure that Colorado has the game in hand for basically the entire rest of the season to ensure them of a division title because they are winning the division. I you know, I said that I said that at the start of the year that they were going to win the division and they are going to win the division. Even though Dallas is right there on their heels, I don't think Dallas is not going to have I think Dallas only has one game left. Colorado's got two. Colorado's in the driver's seat. And so Colorado is going to win that division. There's still a chance that Seattle could leapfrog L.A. There's still a chance. Do I think that's going to happen? Yeah, I don't. I don't necessarily think so. I think this is going to be. I think Seattle will be the the number one wild card, and uh, I think L.A. will be the number three team in the Pacific. But again, they, I think they both have one game left. So, we'll see. Over here, though, in the East, 
This hasn't been decided. The, the wild card spot has not been decided quite yet. I mean, obviously, the Atlantic Division, we know the three teams. In the Atlantic, of course, you got the Boston Bruins, as I'm wearing right here, who just keeps setting more and more records. They have one game to play. I have no doubt in my mind they are going to win their 65th game. And they're just shattering records all, all over the place. They set the record for wins. They now have set the record for the most points in a season. Why not just keep adding to it? They've got 64 wins, 133 points. I, pff, mind blowing what the Boston Bruins have done this year. I mean, I saw the LA, I saw the uh, the Detroit Red Wings in 1995-96. Uh, I saw that team and how and how good of a team that was when they won 62 games. I also saw Tampa in 2019. They just they you know they made it look easy. Even those two teams, Boston has outdone both of them. I think Boston is literally the epitome of unbeatable right now. Now, of course, playoffs are a completely different animal. Will this, will Boston's run, their, will their 65 win, and yes, I am saying it, 65 win season. I could be, you know, of course, I could be wrong. They might only end up with 64. They might lose the last game. I don't think so because they're just, they're, they're, they're too hot. And, but I mean, they're just, they're about, they're about as unbeatable as you can get right now. And, Whoever comes out of the Toronto Tampa series, if Boston's waiting, <laughs> uh, I just got two. I guess I just got as not quite not quite like as Degeneration X says. I got two words for you for whoever comes out of that series. Good luck, cause you're gonna need it. The Metro Division. Now, this is still kind of up for grabs also because the Hurricanes, who are leading the division right now, the Devils are in second place. The Rangers are, are they're, they're cemented in third. So the Rangers will be going on the road in that first round, in the divisional semifinal. It says, where are they going to go? Is it going to be Carolina? Or is it going to be New Jersey? Because I think there is. I was looking at the I was looking at the points, and I kind of forgot. I, you know, I should have maybe wrote the points down. But uh, I still think there's only one point separating Carolina and New Jersey, and I think they still. I think they both have one game left. So I mean, that's going to come down to the wire. But uh, here's here's the one the main reason why I wanted to look at this. The wild card, the Florida the Florida Panthers, they have clinched. They have made they have they have clinched the number one wild card, so they are made, they are in the playoffs for the second year in a row. But this, right here, the Pittsburgh Penguins had a game in hand tonight. They could have leapfrogged the New York Islanders into that number two wild card spot. And they lost to the Chicago Blackhawks, a team that is like the bottom two or three in the entire league right now. Pittsburgh lost to the Blackhawks. It leaves them one point behind the Islanders with one game to go. Both teams have one game to go. Who gets that spot? Are the Islanders going to find a way to to maintain it? I mean, Islanders win their last game, they're in. Now, the Penguins, if they, I mean, if they win, the Islanders basically have to lose. I'm not. I, I didn't. I didn't really look. Again, I should have. I should have looked a little more at tiebreakers. Because if they, what happens if they finish tied? If they finish tied at 92 points, 
who gets that spot? Is it the Penguins or the Islanders? It's going to be interesting. Both of them, though, one game to go. And uh, and yeah, this is this is what this is what's fun. This is this is what makes what makes it fun going down, going right down to the wire. Two teams, one game to go. Islanders control their the Islanders control their destiny. Islanders win, they're in. That's bottom line. Islanders win, they're in. Pittsburgh needs to win. And the Islander and and they, Pittsburgh needs to win and get some help. So I don't know. It's going to be interesting. Pittsburgh's got a 16-year playoffs uh, playoff streak that is uh, on the line here. Do they continue it? I don't know. They got one game to go to find out, and uh, and yeah, so. Man, what a what a what a what a what a fun time coming up on my favorite time of the year, and uh, and yeah. So here's the wild card race currently. Here's who here here is who is currently slotted where, and uh, yeah. Either the Islanders or the Penguins will get that spot. We're not sure which one. Comes down to that last game for both teams. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Who do you think gets that spot? Do you think the Islanders pull it off and sneak in? Or do the Penguins find a way to sneak into the playoffs? I'd love to know what you guys think about that. And uh, again, hit uh, you know if you if you have not uh, not done so, uh, it'd be awesome if you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell if you want to be notified of any uh, any future videos that uh, that come up, and uh, and yeah. So again, let me know what you guys think. Do the Islanders get in? Do the Penguins get in? One of these two teams is going to earn the right to play the Boston Bruins in round one. Which team is it? I'd love to know what you guys think. Again. Hit like and subscribe if you haven't done so. Hit the little bell too if you want to be notified of any future videos if you have not done so already. And uh, I will see you guys again soon.